Hey, what's up everyone? Have you ever wondered what this little circle in the bottom of your DJI Go 4 app was when you're flying your drone? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about that here right now. Tell you how to use it when you're flying, how you can get further distances with your aircraft, have better signal quality, and better image transmission. All right, so you're gonna notice when you start your app up that your aircraft is gonna be right in the center of that circle. Underneath that circle, there's a white dot, and basically that's your orientation. Imagine you standing underneath that red thing which is your aircraft. Straight ahead of that, you're gonna have a little triangle. That triangle is basically, it's a little triangle that's facing down towards you. Now that triangle is basically the way you're facing. And you'll see that next to it or around that circle, at some point there will be an end. That end will be your north. So if you turn your controller and put that end directly over top of that triangle that's pointing down, now you should be facing north. Once you fly out past like 300 feet, you're gonna notice that that red arrow is gonna start moving away. And remember the red is the drone. It's gonna start moving away from that center. And eventually it's gonna to get to the outer, outer ring. And once it does, it's real easy to line your aircraft up so that you can stay in line. Please subscribe to my channel. You know, it's far enough away that it's hard to see. So you just wanna turn that controller until your aircraft is directly over top of that white triangle that's pointing down and that means you're gonna be directly in line with the aircraft. All right, now another thing you're gonna notice is there's a blue line across the center of that circle and that's your horizon. So what that's gonna tell you is which way your aircraft is leaning, if it's banking to the left or banking to the right, if the nose is pointing up or pointing down. So that is if you're banking to the right, you're gonna notice it's angled this way. If you're banking to the left, you're gonna notice it's that way. If the nose is pointing up, you're going to notice that the blue horizon level is going to be down really low. And if it's pointed towards the ground, you're going to notice that it's up high. And what this is useful for is when you're flying, if you have a wind coming at you to the side, but your aircraft is going straight, it's going to be flying like this, even though it's straight. Or vice versa, if it's the wind's coming at the, the other way, it's going to be angled like this, and the, there might be a side wind pushing it. And another thing you're gonna notice is when you're in sport mode, there's gonna be a power meter that's gonna tell you how much power that your props are using. And that's gonna have a, a pretty much like a chart around the outside of that ring, and it's gonna tell you the power that it's using in the center. So that's useful for if you're heading into a, a wind that's coming at the drone, a headwind, then it's gonna be using more power on them props to power through that wind to go whatever speed you're going. If you're coming back the other way and the wind's pushing your drone, then it's gonna be using less of that power. So you, that's one good way to know if you're going into a headwind or if you're coming at it and the wind's helping you out. So that's one good tip to keep in mind. Now one other thing I wanna tell you guys is that when you power up the app in the drone, make sure that that red drone is actually the right orientation. There's been two occasions now when I was flying that it said that the drone was behind me when in reality it was in front of me. So just double check that. Luckily I was able to bring it back home, shut everything down, power back up, and then it was fine. So I don't know if the compass orientation got messed up on my phone. I didn't get any compass errors on the drone or any errors. So I'm not sure what the case was, but that's a good tip to keep in mind when you start flying. So if you found this video helpful guys, please click on that like button, click on the subscribe and the bell next to it so you get notified of any future tips and please check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching guys.